Do you know that feeling when you have filmed an entire video and it stops and then you see you have zoomed totally in to your face so you can't see the rest of your body? That's kind of the mood I'm in right now, so I'm just going to start over. <laughs> and my battery is dying by the way. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a video on the products I'm not going to be buying anymore. Some of the products I do have in my collection right now, but I'm not going to buy them in the future for my own money. If companies send that type of product to me, I will of course use it, but I'm not going to spend it for my own money. I hope that makes sense. So the first product I'm going to talk about is powder and especially colored powders. I have owned a few colored powders in <laughs> my life, but I haven't enjoyed them as much as the transparent or translucent ones. So I just don't see the point in matching your foundation to a skin tone or a concealer and then you have the powder and then it changes the color of your foundation, you know what I mean? So I just don't see the point in that and that leads me on to the next one and that is loose powders. I don't know how to bake, so I'm not going to do that. I have a few loose powders that I... I have a few loose powders from W7 that uh, I have gotten sent and I will try to bake and stuff like that and use them up and use them and stuff like that. But I'm not going to buy them with my own money because I just prefer a pressed powder that I have more control over. And I have a bit dry under eyes so a loose powder just tend to dry them out more than a compact powder. I don't know what the reason is but that is kind of the situation. And then we come to cream products. I especially don't want to own and buy any more cream bronzers and cream blushes because I just don't remember the step in my routine. In my head I just need to do my primer, foundation and concealer and then I need to set my face. But for a cream bronzer and uh, blush you have to do it like before the powder otherwise it's going to be cakey and stuff like that. So I just tend to forget it, so I just don't see the point in me buying them anymore. And that is the same with liquid blush. I have a few from Benefit and I have tried to pan a few this year and it just didn't go very well because I forgot the step. Because that is a product I need to do before foundation and again that is not the routine in my head. So I just prefer powders in general. <laughs> so. The only cream product I actually want to have is cream highlighters, but if I really want my ideal collection, that is no cream products. So, yeah. And then we come to lip gloss. I'm not a lip gloss person. I have never been a lip gloss person. Okay, maybe when I started to do makeup, I was a lip gloss. When I started to do makeup, I was a lip gloss person, I will admit that. Then I just got to know myself and my makeup preferences. I just like a liquid lipstick and bullet lipstick so much more. <laughs> I just don't like the sticky feeling on my lips and that is very, very common to people who don't like lip gloss. They don't like the sticky feeling and some lip glosses has this glitter in it and I have experienced that as well. I do have lip glosses in my collection and most of them are more pigmented lip glosses as um, the gush one I have tried to pan this year and I have some from W7 that I love because of the metallic finish and I have a one from NYX as well. But those are the only lip glosses I'm going to like buy because they are pigmented and they are not sticky at all. Sticky lip glosses is something I'm never going to buy again. Then I have a contour product that is in a single compact. I have just learned this year that a contour product is not the ideal product for me because I'm so pale that it looks muddy really, really fast. And most contour products is really, really dark. Unless I find a contour product that is actually the right shade for me, that actually work for me, then I'm going to buy it. I rather want them in a palette form like the NYX Pro Highlighting Contour Palette, I think it's called, because there's everything in one palette. Or the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Something like that, I just don't want the single compact form because I tend to forget it and they're usually just too dark for me so I'm just going to stick with the ones I have and they will last me a decade anyway so I'm not really concerned <laughs> so yeah that's that 
And then we have single eyeshadows. The only eyeshadows I like for a single is the Makeup Geek and um, then I have the MAC, one MAC eyeshadow but that is in a compact. I rather want it in a single pan that I could put in a C palette. So single shadows that is in a compact, I just I just don't use them. They sit in my collection in my drawer and I forget them. I'm just a palette girl in general, so I rather want a palette and a C palette and that's that. Because I just don't use them. So that is why I have departed so many singles this year and um, I believe I'm going to depart the rest of them next year because I just... Okay, if the camera angle is a bit different and the zoom in and stuff like that, that is because my battery died. Yay. So I was talking about eyeliners and I'll just start over <laughs> because pencil eyeliners is something that I'm not going to buy anymore because I just don't like the sharpening part. It's just so much easier to twist up uh, an eyeliner and I think they don't dry out as fast in a twist up thing and plus in a twist up they usually come with a sponge or something that you can smudge it out and the ones I really really love that is twist up is from Rimmel and uh, Rimmel London and they are waterproof and they actually last in my waterline. A white eyeliner or a nude eyeliner is also something that I'm not going to buy anymore because they just don't last and I love eyeliner but I just don't really use them on my waterline so that is also why I'm not going to buy the white and nude eyeliner anymore. Last but not least that is nail polish. In the future I have an ideal goal with having no nail polish in my collection. I know it's probably not going to happen in the next like five years or so but I just don't care for my nails as much as others do. I really really enjoy watching people doing their nails and the nail design and stuff like that but I just can't do it myself and my nails is not built for pretty nails naturally. I have tried a ton of stuff to make them stronger but it just don't work. Next year I am going to do a project polish just to work through my nail polish because I have spent money on them so I really want to make the use out of them and then in the future like a year or two um, maybe just a year I will start wearing light gel nail polish. I will set aside money for that because I just don't enjoy doing my nails that much that I want to do it, you know. Nail polish is not something I'm going to buy and I haven't bought nail polish in like a half a year or so, maybe more. I have gotten some new ones in my advent calendars but that is not really something I can control, you know? If I get nail polish as a gift and I can exchange it for something else in the shop, I might do that. And if I get a an, um, nail polish in an advent calendar, I really can't control that. So maybe I will use them or maybe I will declutter it, I don't know yet. An ideal goal would be not to have any more nail polish. And especially white nail polish, it is something I'm not going to have ever again. I've had so bad experience with white nail polish. It cracks and it peels off and it chips off like a few hours after I have put it on. And it just don't work for me and it looks a bit funny as well. In my taste at least. So I, I'm not going to have any more white nail polish in my collection if I have a white nail polish at some point if I've been gifted it or something. I will declutter it and give it to someone else, with no doubt. I'm over white nail polish. No more ever again. That is everything I'm not going to buy in the future. Again, if I'm gifted it or if somebody sends it to me, I will gladly use it. But ideally, I will not have those kind of products in my collection because I just don't use it and I don't like to use it. And it's just 
not really a part of my routine. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I have many plans for next year and I will of course talk about it in a video very very soon. And until then I hope you are doing well and I will see you next time. Bye guys!